I a little bit hesitate to call it arm weight, but I already come up with so many new ter terminology <laughs> in this teaching method. <laughs> so I could easily translate it into body weight because that would be much more precise. And okay, we don't play with the fingers. Most of the people know that only with the fingers. We don't play only with the hand or even from elbow or even from shoulders or even from back. Like sometimes I'll play from the back. Mm -hmm. So uh, the way I teach is to play from your feet. <laughs> so we transfer weight from through the entire body up and then with the wave here is a wave <laughs> with the wave to the mm -hmm. instrument like surfing um that would be much more precise than arm weight because i don't really teach arm weight but since it's google and no one is searching pianist body weight <laughs> yeah. <Heat rate. laughs> unless unless they want you know to train their muscles <laughs> yeah so it is sort of arm weight but it's much more and um, as you said correctly it does make you feel total ultimate relaxation in your body <clears throat> like i'm thinking of anything that is becoming three sort of dimensional like with sound texture i'm gonna imagine it sounds more down it will bring more relaxation with singing with arm weight also so instead of singing from here we will start singing from diaphragm and that creates that puts le less pressure to our throat here because i mean we're singing with resistance even though i'm asking to sing with relaxed throat there's not much you can do you know whining here and there but if you sing from arm weight oh it's much more powerful with less effort so i mean great <laughs> uh -huh. mm, and also the same with the hand motion you know 2d motion doesn't give you as much relaxed sensation as 3d motion you can play more powerful generally we can escape this harsh ringing tone in forte and in piano we can actually control the tone because we don't have to produce piano by withholding the strength of our arm, right? Mm. And also I think that what you describe is very common and it really comes from the trauma of being taught quietly, quietly, play quietly, and you don't uh, know how, you know? And, and also... All... Oh, sorry, sorry. Mm. So that confusion... Uh, you know, activates your compulsive tension, and here you go. And also the visual element, I think, uh, seeing a lot of pianists doing that uh, uh, influenced me to do that also. Uh, like seeing examples. everyone mm -hmm. doing that for playing piano, also... 